The boys' universe is filled with countless soup teams that all relatively fall within the same premise of appearing as public heroes while in reality being selfish degenerates behind the scenes whose only concern is money, pleasure, and fame. Yet there is one group that goes against this common theme, the Super Duper Team. Made up of outcasts and listed as a C-tier team by Vought, the seven members of Super Duper include those who not only possess less than impressive powers but also mental disabilities that further hinder their ability to stand out amongst the rest of the soups in the world. For example, Bobby Bedoin has the power to inflate his body like a balloon and briefly levitate while in this state, yet he has the mental capacity of a child and is easily frightened, sometimes even peeing his pants when he hasn't gone to the bathroom for long. Clanker, on the other hand, is able to transform into metallic objects, but he has Tourette's, causing him to blurt out obscenities and unwillingly use his powers whenever his tics appear. Stool Shadow supposedly can phase through matter, yet she appears to forget how to use her powers more often than not, with her usually smashing into walls causing her face to be all bruised and covered in bandages. She also has the memory of a goldfish, forgetting everyday words. And finally, we have Kid Camo, who has the power to blend into any environment and become one with it, but he is unable to maintain his form for long periods. The other three members' powers are never properly depicted, but it's safe to assume that they too had abilities that were severely undermined by their respective disabilities. With that being said, of all the soup teams shown in the boys' universe, the Super Duper group is perhaps the only one that actually tries to be a positive presence within their community, as well as having a wholesome family dynamic when in private, watching movies together and supporting one another. Due to their limited abilities, their missions tended to be on par with what they could achieve, such as rescuing neighborhood cats stuck in trees. This group later comes to the radar of the boys' crew when a member of Team Titanic is transferred to Super Duper to serve as their new leader as punishment for tricking a member of his previous team to have intercourse with him by transforming into her lover. Upon meeting his new team, the Transformer Malchemical immediately begins to mock his new teammates, dismissing their abilities and underwhelming powers as a joke. Initially, the boys' crew sought to spy on and later eliminate the Super Duper team as with the rest of the soups. But after Huey met them and realized that they were just doing the best they could, they were instead spared from Butcher's wrath, with only Malchemical being taken out for being the typical two-faced hero like their previous targets. Funnily enough, following Homelander's attack on the United States government and slaughter of most of the other soups that had joined his crusade, the Super Duper team's exclusion from that assault likely resulted in them becoming the de facto strongest superhero group left by the end of the boys' comic.